You just never know what the day is gonna bring. I had planned to work on a video today, I had some other stuff planned, and then what drops in my lap? A teaser trailer for Yars Rising, a forthcoming Yars Revenge follow-up sequel continuation of the popular Howard Scott Warshaw Yars Revenge. And uh, look, so here's what we know, it's a teaser trailer is all that they have dropped. And so, but even in that, there is some information we can glean. We don't know for certain that this is the title that Howard Scott Warshaw was working on. However, I think there's some evidence in the trailer that uh, might suggest quite possibly it is. I'm still waiting on verification back from Mr. Warshaw. I have contacted him, reached out. Uh, further, uh, we know that this is not a typical Yards Revenge game. This is not a space shooter. This is more of an espionage, it looks like. Uh, you are a protagonist working to, uh, working against Kotech, who's now this company that the Kotile was part of. It's expansion of the lore, that's really cool. And, um, and, and it's a Metroidvania, which is the kind of platformer, platformer game, by the way, that I love, where you travel in this giant map and you get new abilities and you come back. And I can imagine getting the ability, it looks like your protagonist is not a human, and so, or is not a, a Yar, so it's uh, like possibly you're gonna get uh, abilities, maybe you can fly, maybe you can shoot, stuff like that. Anyway, I'll talk about it some more. First, let's go look at the teaser trailer. Uh, you can watch it, I'll put a link to it down in the description, but also we're going to analyze it here and see what we can glean from what's in this teaser. This is a brief teaser. I'm not even sure it shows any actual gameplay. Maybe a little bit in here, I'm not sure, but I think there's already stuff that we can discern. So let's go ahead and hit play. Oh, first things first. All right, so in this cityscape, there's HSW WSH, that Howard Scott Warshaw. That is the Yars Revenge Easter egg. So any question, I mean, we still don't know 100% that this is the Yars 2 that Howard was working on, but I've asked him, I'm waiting for verification. However, uh, <laughs> why would you put out two Yars 2s, two sequels to Yars Revenge around the same time? Doesn't make sense. This has to be the one that Howard has been working on and, and uh, consulting on. I mean, HSWWSH is part of Yars, but it's also indicative of the creator, Yars, Howard Scott Warshaw. So the first little Easter egg, how appropriate an Easter egg in the teaser for the game that had an HSW Easter egg. So anyway, let's continue. You ever get that feeling? Nolan, here's a Nolan Bushnell reference up here, I would expect. Uh, fine Day, don't know what that is. Cosmic with a Q. Uh, what does that say? Annie Glow. There's a fish and a, like a turtle over here. I don't know what all that is. Okay, but some stuff. We also see some... Uh, uh, looks probably it's either uh, I don't it, it could be an actual language it could be like Japanese or something I don't know <laughs> Japanese characters it could just be a uh, foreign language uh, alien let's keep going meant for something more all right so here's a first shot here's a yar on the screen and uh, this is the uh, looks like the bedroom or dorm room of this young lady who you are the protagonist of the game that's been kind of mighty all right, this could be a shot. In fact, based on the screenshot we saw, this is probably gameplay. And they're saying this is a Metroidvania where you can navigate through the world and you know gain abilities and that kind of thing in order to fight the Kotile. And then I look up here and I can see here's a QO. That's how you begin to spell Kotile. And there's an image of the Kotile from Yars Revenge up here on this sign. Uh, so here's, I mean, little, little nuggets of Yars sprinkled throughout the iconography. Since forever. Looks like a, like a vertical shaft with some electrical stuff, some platforming. So here we got some bugs, which I, I probably enemies, if you scatter bugs around like that, they're probably going to be some kind of enemy you have to attack. Are they like a, a larval co-tile or something? I don't know. There's another shot of the same cityscape, and this probably is, that's a background. This is a gameplay environment. I see some platforms here. Something's changed. There's something... Way Forward Games, creator of these games, which I know Shantae, which is a pretty cool platforming game. So don't know River City Girls. And Atari. And fly. All right. So here's your young lady. Here's the protagonist of the game. First things first, um, I know they've established this new part of the lore. Kotec is this company that the Kotile is somehow part of with the Kotile. How that all fits together in the, this lore and mythology it remains to be seen. But we can see on her shirt, uh, she has the Kotec logo, and there's the Kotal image from the game. However, if she's going to be <laughs> recruited to battle the 
Kotech and the Kotal or whatever, why does she already have a T-shirt with their logo on it? Like you wouldn't, you know, I mean, you wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't go in war and wear the T-shirt of your enemy. You know what I mean? So maybe she's already worked for the company or she's infiltrating the company or she's a mole. I don't know, but she appears to work for the company or be representing them. She has a Yar tattoo on her wrist. Hmm. Do I need a Yar tattoo on my wrist? Maybe I do. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, there's another shot of that. An animated tattoo at that. Needs to be stopped. And I'm the one. So, here's the question. Who is your protagonist? We know that the Yars are actually... Human housefly, human houseflies, earth houseflies, <laughs> brundlefly. They're actually earth houseflies that were on a ship that went traveling interstellar, and they're the only thing that survived, and they created their own civilization. So are we to believe that uh, – it's, it's a lot – I'll be speculation at this point. Is, is your protagonist, is this young lady a – is she a, a Yar? Is she – you know, channeling the power of the Yars. She sprouts these wings, but these wings appear to be electrical or they're not organic. Like they look to be an ability she has to to, to fly. And also you see she's charging up a Shuriken, probably like the uh, uh, the uh, the Zorlon cannon, perhaps, kind of thing. She has that power to, to throw uh, energy. You can do it. And here she comes. Boom. And she's throwing it. And it sounds... That sound effect is a sound effect from blasting the Kotile. So. And that's all we get. There we get. So, oh, well, in the closing, maybe with more information here, that must be a Yar behind her, and she is now working for the Yar. So clearly she's not a Yar, because what is that other race if not? So she must be human or some other humanoid race. And then we have the Yar behind her, which is more... <laughs> That's an organic wing. That's that looks. Although there's some digital in it, which looks pretty cool. Or is that just a like a spirit of the yar? Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? All we know, I guess, at this point is some kind of a platformer, some kind of Metroidvania coming 2024, right? All right. So in addition to all of that, in that very brief, like 43 second teaser trailer, we also got a couple of screenshots. We got this one that shows probably some platforming gameplay that has your protagonist in this in this environment, on this uh, in this world, maybe inside of a, a company or a building. It's in a city, we can see based on the environment uh, in the trailer. And also a reproduction of the original Yars Revenge that looks to be a mechanic or puzzle that you play in the game. Uh, I think of, you know, like, uh, Games like Bioshock, where you would do a puzzle inside of a machine to unlock a door or something. I'm wondering if maybe they're going to take Yar's Revenge and use it as a mechanic inside of the game to unlock and do other things. To which I will have an advantage because I know how to play Yar's Revenge, as even younger people might not. Anyway, that's what we know so far about the game. Did you see something in there I didn't see? Is there anything that I spotted that you didn't and I, I get a bonus point for? Let me know. Uh, I'll continue to keep an eye on this Yars Rising. When I learn more, I will share it with you. Uh, I cover Yars Revenge all the time, so I'll throw a couple links here and here to some other Yars-based uh, uh, videos that I've done. I uh, hope you found something to enjoy in this quick video. I can't wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye. Kotech needs to be stopped. And I'm the one who can do it.